This video is from the Retro Liberty archives with new edits and live shots. discovering a lot of hidden gems lately. Yeah, maybe we should send him a metal Jesus. We should. Hey, what you doing? Hey, I'm just working on uh, another hidden gems video and cool. uh, yeah, Aaron and Ricky from Retro Liberty sent me potential box of hidden gems here. Nice. I know, kind of cool, huh? Yeah, so, really fun. I'm, I'm gonna dig into it. Okay, cool. I'm. DMP's upstairs trying to shave the back, you know, ooh, trying to reach places, ooh, so ooh, I'm gonna okay. help him out. So. All right, well, uh, good luck with that. Thank dude, All can't right. unsee this. Let's dig in. Teletubbies? Well, you know, the purple one's kind of cute. All right, let's give it a shot. What else is in here? Dead or Alive Paradise for the PSP. Sure. Oh, oh, man. Here's my hand. What is this? What else is in there? Oh uh, yeah, now we're talking Barbie the Island Princess. Oh yeah. Banana smoothie for me. Civilization? What are you doing? I thought you said these were good games. You know, it's, it's Barbie. I mean, it's Barbie. What the hell is wrong with you, man? I... Hey! Barbie's pretty! <laughs> Damn you, Retro Liberty! Damn you! Dude, I wonder if Metal Jesus was pissed about those games. Who cares, dude? It's just Metal Jesus. It's not like he's real Jesus. So what was going to be just a usual Wednesday night turned into a game hunting night along with a little bit of pizza parlor and arcades with Game Sturdy one We got a phone call about a week ago saying he's going to be in the area again. So we know we got to take advantage of the time we can get with him and hang out. And what's better than a little pre-game hunting by eating some pizza and playing some games in the arcades? If they had Robotron, I think we'd be here all the time. Yeah, me and Ricky, I've been really actually wanting to buy one. The yeah, Robotron? The yeah, cheapest yeah. one I've seen is 600 bucks. I was talking to Greg from Arcade Impossible. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said that that's uh, kind of the higher end for one, but he's like, you know, if you find one for Let's four. Let's be a Tron Arcade, okay, that'd be sweet. That'd be oh, sick. dude, that yeah, was like, so much fun. Yeah. Oh, that'd be sick. So we arrive here at Fat Collectibles, and Ricky and I have been here quite often and we go here all the time, but John's never been and it really seems like a place he'd like, so we decided if we're gonna take him to a local spot, why not take him to one that has toys and video games, because we know John's really into both. They have Sawyer from Lost, and they also have Locke which uh, was like my, well, like he was like my favorite character until like the last season or two. I don't know, did you guys watch Lost? Let me know if you did, because I was like sure. hardcore in the Lost for a while. Ricky, I got Lost. Really? Awesome was cool Thundercats though. Thundercats. Thunder. Thundercats. 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 Thundercats rock. Did you Dude. ever watch Lost? No, I got Lost watching the first That's what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm being sick and tired of be calling a hipster douchebag online by you guys. Fabio. Fabio. I can't believe it's not bothered. That on a uh, Ghost Rider and not not Sperry from around here, he was on it and a he a bird ran into his nose and broke his nose. Oh really? Yeah. Well, He's super yeah. yeah. So we're walking around and John's eyes go straight to these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards, the vintage ones, and John gets a pretty bright idea. Well, in his mind it was a good idea. If I buy you an old pack of playing cards, do you think I want to get the camera? So a lot of these classic uh, cards are packed with like gum, and these are probably 20 years old, so we're going to buy one for our parents so we can uh, experience on the camera and see what it tastes like. They're awful. Johnson, when he told the guy we're getting it, the guy like looked at him serious and said, just don't eat the gum. What if we get all sick? We won't, huh? Sugar. Sugar and processed stuff. That's 20 years old. Well, oh, at least you never know. Oh, well. Whatever. Who cares? One, two, three. Oh! Look how we broke my tooth! So if you guys watch our show, you'll notice that we're hanging out with John a lot lately, and we're becoming really good friends with them, and it's something we never imagined happening. But it is, and we're super thankful and enjoy his friendship. But now it's time to go to a swap meet and some flea markets, which we do every weekend, and we're gonna get some fast food, as we also do every weekend. And to be honest, we should probably cut back on. Oh well, it's not like we're a bunch of savage animal beasts. <laughs> Yes! 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 Watch this. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of ruined my food. What'd you guys do? Why are you guys laughing? You guys did something to my food. What am I sitting at? What'd you guys do? You better not ruin my Dr. Pepper. What'd you guys do? Just drink it. Are you serious? Now I can't even enjoy it. Just drink it, dude. And there's something wrong with peeing you, dude. What <laughs> peeing me? <laughs> I meant pee on. I meant pee on you, not pee in you. I'm Aaron, and I'm Ricky, and we're in Riverside, and we're being kind of hidden right now. There's security like all around, and for some reason they're staring at us. We were gonna have a rock throwing contest again, but we're not gonna do it because they're staring at us, and uh, we don't know if they want us to film. So. Let's go, we're gonna sneak our way in. Back to Riverside. Can play! They got Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy City. It's like super stupid. You're Michael Jordan, but you're like fighting levels that have nothing to do with basketball, and your weapon is you chuck basketball. your basketball at people. I think I played that one. It's. It like has it's like seems promising because the graphics are okay, but it's pretty sucky. Do you know what this one is? Yeah, that one's for thirty dollars. Thirty? Sure. Okay. I'm missing this for the GameCube. Ow! So today we haven't found anything at all, and that's kind of bumming us out because we've been looking all day and. To be honest, something else that sucks is we're getting asked not to film at all, which never happens. We have no idea what's going on today, but almost every other booth is telling us not to film, along with security. But at least we met a subscriber in the parking lot, and he was a really cool dude, and we always love meeting people who watch the show because we have something to talk about with all of them. Well, video games. There is so much poop in that toilet. I'm talking like the toilet's like this deep, and there's probably this much room that's not poop. And as I was peeing, like poop little particles are flying up. Why didn't you it use was a urinal? Disgusting. There's a urinal? So we decided to test our luck out by going to a different spot. But first, we're gonna see if we can hit up NES Complex to go game hunting with us. What do you think his message sounds like? Hi, this is Chris Complex. Hi, I love video games. This is Chris. Leave a message. I'll call you back soon. So Thank professional. You. Wow, Chris. Uh, Chris, this is Retro Liberty. <laughs> That's all by. <laughs> Chris, yeah. How has it been today with all the people like telling us not to film and security watching us and people pounding us about filming? Yeah, it's been weird today. It's been off. It's been an off day. Everyone seems on high alert for some reason or something. But uh, yeah, we just had some guy that we go to every time 
you guys have bought a lot of games from him, I think, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah, he was like our friend, and we just, right when we walk up, he's like, oh, yeah, you know, we always let you film, and you never buy anything. Hey, guys, let me tell you something. I don't really give a chance so many times to take a picture of stuff. Which is annoying, too, because we do buy stuff from him. It's on footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I buy a ton of stuff from him. He's kind of not on the good list right now. I know, we're pretty pissed, actually. I'm kind of bummed, because he was kind of our friend. If you guys don't know by now, Nintendo 64 controllers, and mainly the colored ones, are getting really expensive. A lot of people are trying to sell them for like 20 to $30 now, so if you can grab them for around 5 to 10 bucks, I would definitely say grab it. How much is the azul? It's $5. Okay. Ricky is not bien. killer. How much? Five. You guys got a five on Kabo? She doesn't have change. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll take that controller. Just kidding. Okay, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a good deal. Five bucks for that? People are selling those now for like 20 bucks. People are, I think they're getting like really popular. It's Atomic Purple, Ice Blue, and Ricky Red. It's getting really hot and we're getting kind of tired at this point. But hey, look at this. Somebody with a lot of good stuff and he happens to be a subscriber of the show. Awesome. Normally, like we said, everybody we meet is really awesome and really usually willing to work with us. Shinobi in box. This is sick. I think I like the Master System version better than the original Nintendo one, but this is the one I played first, and it's sick to have box. It's a Tengen game, so it's black. Is it Tengen or Tengen? I don't know. I call it Tengen. Do you call it Tengen or Tengen? I think it's Gen. Oh, really? I think so. Uh, I don't. I always don't know what I call it. I just change it every time. I'm like, whatever. Whatever I feel. So it looks like at the end of the day, good thing we didn't give up hope and just walk out because that last place we went to is where we got most of our stuff for the day. It's much easier to drive home when you know you got stuff. There's nothing worse than leaving the flea market hot and sweaty and empty handed. But today, that wasn't the case. Hey guys, I am Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're Retro Liberty. <laughs> okay, let's get straight into our pickups of what we got. I'm gonna go first this week for a reason that we'll mention Yay. that you'll know why later. For me, the first thing I got is Evolution, the world of sacred device. Sorry. People said it's a good game, but a lot of people were saying that the story might be a little too drawn out. So I haven't played it, but if you guys have, let me know because I'm curious. I very much, as you guys know, like cartoony graphics and games. So we'll see how this awesome, goes. Though. Yeah. Then I got Rugrats on the PlayStation Black Label. I hate this game. <laughs> it's a 3D world, but it's like super polygony. I know polygony isn't too bad, but in this game it's bad. But hey, I got it for a buck. The guy thought it was a CD. I got him. Yeah. Then I got this for a quarter from a girl who's supposed to call me with like all of her games. She said she'll sell me everything for a quarter. Gex, enter the gecko for the PlayStation. For a quarter, you can't go wrong. It's a very oh, yeah. cool game, kind of James Bondy, but as a gecko. I heard this game is a lot like James Bond. I think he does a lot of like smarmy remarks in the game. Yeah, he does. Like really punny jokes, you know. Whips his tail. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> Little tongue now, a lot of tail later. It's tail time. It looks like a Game Pro gave it pretty much 5.0s all the way across, so good game. Five it's, points. It's been a while for me. This is really cool. That's and awesome. It's a Dreamcast. It's a pink controller. This matches perfect with my pink pants. It says Millennium 2000 on it, and it's all written in Japanese, and I didn't know too much about it, so I asked on Twitter, and a lot of you guys answered um, a lot of different answers, so I'm still not too clear, but I guess it came in a few different colors, and I think they run for like 30 to 40 bucks. A couple of Couple, 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 couple people were saying, but the guy that sold it to me sold me for five bucks. He's a guy who watches the show, so thank you very much for selling this to me for oh, yeah, five thanks, bucks. Man. I haven't even opened it yet. I will open it because I want to test it out and see how it feels, but awesome for five bucks. Especially Dreamcast, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. I love Dreamcast. Yeah. Hey, the last thing I'm going to show for you guys is um, Asterix and the Great Rescue, which is a Gen Genesis side scrolling platformer. Have you played it? A little bit. It's, yeah, it was you fun played it when I played it. Yeah. yeah. It's really pretty fun. It's super cartoonish, as you guys know I love. And I think it takes place like in the Caesar days and you're taking over like the Romans and stuff and beating up all the Romans. <laughs> it's 
Aster, a guy named Aster who has like a wings looking thing, kind of like the P in Mario on your head with your big heavy barrel chested buddy. I think you're going to destroy Caesar. I, I really think that's the point. I might be wrong. That's all for me. Ricky's turn. I think I'm only sure one of the swap me things. So from the same guy who sold Aaron the controller, I got the Super Metroid box and manual. Dude, I have a Super Metroid case too. Yeah, but you made yours. Mine's official Nintendo license. Super clean, and if you guys don't know Super Metroid, I love Super Metroid. What are you doing here? Because Super it Metroid is, is... You need to stop the video. I will grant you a stop the video, turn it off, and go play Super Metroid. It's if you so good. It's one of the most dark, eerie, wandering around... The beginning title. Oh, that music in the beginning. I've talked about it before, but that music in the beginning... Next, I'll go with Mario Party 2. Did, Did someone, someone say, say Mario Party? I got it with this N64 and like five other games for 15 bucks. I was like, Psh, that's like 15 bucks right there yes. alone. So awesome game too. Very fun. Very fun. And then from another guy on Craigslist, I bought a ton of games, but I'm only showing this one since it was a ton of games for yeah. thir what 30? Yeah. I think I got like 15 good games, but this was one of them. This Zelda. Is, yeah. But it came with the Manuel. Manuel. <laughs> and it's the hologram one, of course. Yeah. Zelda Majora's Mask. We didn't even say which Zelda it was. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. It's Majora's Mask, and it's a really dark uh, Zelda game. It's very, the moon in that game is like everyone's like worst nightmare. To tell the truth, I haven't even played this one. I can't believe I haven't played this game. You know what's funny for me? I did play that one more than I played Ocarina of Time, so. That's the one I did play, <laughs> like crazy. Yeah, this was after Ocarina, and a lot of people didn't give it as much love as Ocarina because it was compared to such a great game like Ocarina. But it is still a great game. I know a lot of people will very much agree it's a beautiful Zelda game. Hard. I heard it's hard. It is hard. So, I can't wait. And then, actually, I just saw this one in Metal Jesus. It's, uh... Hey, more Metal Jesus! <laughs> Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. It pretty much just has, uh, what is it, Metal Gear 1, the PlayStation 1, not the NES, and then the Sons of Anarchy, I believe. Is Sweet. that the one? A Liberty? Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty. Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> My yeah. bad. That'd be sweet. Bad. Wow. Too much Netflix. Yeah, too much Netflix, really. <laughs> and then for my last thing, I actually did this on my uh, Instagram. I told you guys I didn't get I didn't, but I went back the next day. This is a big deal, too. I went back the next day and talked to the manager. I'm like, hey, so uh, when's that thing going to get sold? He's like, which thing? He showed. I showed him the mirror. And I could knock it down 50%. I'm like, yes. Yeah, so what happened is uh, we've got three Miracle Pianos, and you guys hate us for that. This is now our fourth together. Combined, I have two, he has two. Aaron, what should we do with the rest of these Miracle Pianos? Uh, just throw them over here with the rest of them. It has the conversion kit, it has the pedals, it has, I think it has the plugs, it has the um, the booklets to show you how to play songs. But it so, doesn't have the cord to plug it in the oh, It doesn't have the plug-in cord, but hey. <laughs> Dude, look at this. This is ridiculous. People were freaking out like, are you kidding me? You guys are finding another Miracle Piano, so. And at the same place, I got it at Goodwill again. <laughs> yeah, so, Goodwill, come on. <laughs> Let's stop bashing on Goodwill, people. We all hate it once, sometimes, but the majority of the time, we end up up. Yeah. Hey, I think that's all we got, Ricky. Hey. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all that. Ricky has an Instagram now. And we're Retro Liberty. Liberty. Oh, ha, ha. So, and um, <laughs> that's it. Uh, anything else? Uh, I'll let you slap me. Go ahead. You know, you slap me. Mine was way harder, I feel bad. Adios, guys. Gotta catch them all. We're trying to catch beetles. Me and Ricky like to catch bugs. What just happened? Just caught the beetle. Where is it? Right there. Yeah. See. We're each gonna take one of these. I don't From 1988. Yes. I don't think we're playing cards. I think we're yeah. doing something else. We're gonna open this up. Ooh, it opened really nicely. Yeah. Dude, mine's still complete. Mine's complete too. Complete in box. Ricky? Oh, Ricky's oh he's broken. I'm broken, but I'm good.
So, eat them. 25 years old, um, let's do it. Ready? Okay, ready? Three. One, two, two three. three. Oh! Look at what broke my tooth! <laughs> How's the taste? The taste is alright! Oh my gosh, mine's crumbling. Dude, mine doesn't, doesn't even come anymore. <laughs> Are you swallowing? <laughs> no, it's automatically going in. It's like, it's not even chewing. It's powder. It's powder. And mine's gone. That's pretty gross at the end. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, ah, it's, hard, you know. it's gone. I thought we were just gonna chew bubble gum. I kind of like it. And <laughs> he, it. he likes it. We're, I thought we were just chewing gum and like spit it out, but it's gone. It's we're gonna go in my system. We're gonna go back tomorrow. There's gonna be no more. Ricky's gonna be <laughs> <fun. laughs> diarrhea days are here. What cards you guys get? Oh gosh! Dude, I got splinter. Oh, that's bad. The aftertaste is terrible. Oh.